American knowledge of basic political facts, of political history in America, remains as sketchy as ever. According to new data coming from a poll by Pew, we're going to summarize some of the results. Some good, most bad, though. Only one in three Americans know how many women serve on the Supreme Court, but 91% can identify MLK Jr. So that, that is good. 91% how is still something. 9% of Americans don't know who MLK is? Did they interview That's true. Well, they can't identify a picture at least. Okay. Um, it might be that some are recent immigrants, maybe. Some were hardcore racists who weren't interested in all that stuff back in the day. Uh, yeah, I guess that is actually less, mm -hmm. less positive than I thought. Uh, millennials aren't so great at identifying the current party makeup of the Senate. Only 47% aged 18 to 34 were able to do so, compared to 52% overall. It is dominated by the Republicans, by the way, if, yes. if you were to have, are familiar with that. Mm -hmm. uh, more people were able to identify the country that Kim Jong-un rules, 82%, which that's pretty good. Huh. Then were able to identify Malala Yousafzai as the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize winner, 63%. I think that that statistic is actually pretty impressive. Yes, 63%. I thought so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm you know what? I ain't hating on you, Americans, mm -hmm. right? 63% can I, identify Malala. I'm I'm proud of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have okay. I have very low expectations, obviously, <laughs> but no, I think that is great, actually. Yeah. She's not on the news constantly. And That's yeah, barely, yeah. yeah, she's not covered. Come on. I mean, not like she should be covered, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, yeah. And I wonder. I mean, what do you think? Like the like Kim Kardashian. How, how do you think she ranks? I'm sure the everyone system? everyone knows who everyone, she is. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So sixty three percent. That's something. Uh, let's go back to that. They didn't, have, they didn't even show a picture of her face. People would guess who it is. Kim yeah. Kardashian. <laughs> we <laughs> used to do a game called Guess the Camel Toe, where we just showed her camel toe, and ninety percent of our audience knew yeah. exactly who it was. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pretty impressive. She used to have a pretty prominent camel toe. <laughs> I'm That's just, true as well. I'm just saying. Little known fact, only 5 out of 10 Americans know she had a prominent camel toe <laughs> back in the day. Uh, about as many know who is the Supreme Court Chief Justice. No. 51% uh, could recognize Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren from a series of four photos, including uh, other prominent female politicians. So, I mean, considering that she's, that she's a freshman senator... That's something. You you will That's often amazing. hear. That's amazing. So you think I we're think, being too pessimistic? I thought 50% of Californians couldn't recognize their own senator, let alone the country mm. as somebody else's senator. That's, yeah. a, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah. I guess that's not that bad. Is, that is kind of good. And you hear quotes from her more often than you actually like. Will see her face. Yes, maybe. she's and she's not a stirring speaker or anything. So you're not mm. going to be really. She re says the right thing, but yes. it's just deliver it like a Barack Obama. Yeah, press. she delivers it like Chris Hayes's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> that poor guy, he never gets any credit. Um, and yeah, so if she were to someday run for the presidency, she's got a good jump start in terms of recognizability. Definitely. But where uh, Hillary Clinton would be. Not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, nearly 8 in 10 respondents correctly identified Cuba as the country with which the United States reestablished diplomatic ties last December. I guess that's actually, considering huh? it's foreign policy, I that's guess that's amazing. impressive. That is amazing. Wait, Wait that's I thought, amazing. It was major news for like a month. Yeah, still 80%, amazing. 80%. 80%. No about major that. News. You should It was major news, but you're never gonna get a hundred percent of respondents knowing mm -hmm. major news stories. That's, yeah. Eighty percent is amazing. still pretty good. What percentage of people even vote? Right? Not eighty percent. No. I know that. You know what? I'm gonna give America a round really? of applause. I'm telling so you, far. Maybe I'm being too hard. I go the other way. I was thinking the same thing. I go the other way. I'm like, that's pretty good. This mm. is these are all pretty good what they know. Okay. Maybe maybe I'm being too tough. No. Is it a representative sample? Like are it's they talking? Pew, I would, it's I would Pew, imagine, they did so. it was a three thousand, some four hundred people, something like that. Pew, something Pew like knows that. what they're doing. Uh, but we do know also that overall education is at least correlated, not necessarily responsible for the, the change in political knowledge, but correlated with I, it. Half or more respondents with a high school education answered eight of the quiz's 12 questions correctly. That's pretty it, good, right? Well, that's that's, that's two, two out of three. That's, a, that's and among a college graduates and postgraduate uh, degree holders, most answered 11 out of 12. That's right. amazing! Oh, that, that's amazing. I would huh. say that... I know! Round of applause. Really? Round of applause. Mission accomplished. I feel like coming out of high school, I think I'm not too worried about them instilling particular political knowledge or knowledge of anything in, in individuals, but... I don't think that you come out of high school like hungry to know about what's going on in this country, what's going on in the world. And that that's the criticism that I would have. And I, I would say that I don't think that these questions are particularly tough for the people you're asked to, to identify either by name or by face are particularly complicated. But maybe I'm expecting too much right. when you do political news after all. Well, exactly. And that's what I was going to bring up. I mean, this is your job. So it's your job to know these things and follow up on I these things. I only got four out of 12. The, 
<laughs> the vast majority of Americans are not consumed by political news, or they mm. don't consume political news. You know, they have their own careers, their own families, their own lives to tend to. Yeah. So the fact that a little over 60% of Americans know who Malala is, it gives me a little bit of hope. I thought Americans were a lot more ignorant. Yeah. But they're was, not. Um, was she Time's Person of the Year one year? Yeesh. She was at the very I least remember. nominated. I don't know if she actually got it, but yeah, that's something. And I saw like uh, there were some other ones, like 52% could identify the country that uh, Pope Francis comes from. That's pretty tough. So yeah. I would expect uh, not more than 52%. Yeah, so I'm, and in the way the article that I read about this Pew poll was written was that it was negative towards Americans' knowledge. Yeah. And I just want to say, I think that Pew poll stinks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Pardon the pun, okay? I, I will, I'll give you that one pardon.